Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a beautiful day going off here today. Much different than yesterday. Yesterday was dark and gray. Not a great solar day. Today is much better. Gonna catch back up, get all systems up to full. Beautiful. Big white fluffy clouds rolling by. So a while back somebody asked me the question, can you run these 40 volt lithium batteries uh, off the solar system or charge them up rather on the solar system? And the answer to that is yes. So here we have a 40 volt lithium battery, 6 amp hours, pretty hefty little battery, weighs about 5 or 6 pounds I'm guessing, pretty heavy. And I just finished charging it up. It's a Ryobi battery. I charged it up on this charger. It just finished up a, a few minutes ago and I charged it up using this little wall system I've got going here. I plugged it into the watt meter. Uh, the battery was at about 25 to 50% full, which is indicated on the front with little lights here. It's not extremely accurate about what the state of charge is, just gives you a generality of uh, when it was, had two lights on, which is what it arrived with. It said that was about 25 to 50% full. Took 45 minutes to bring it up completely to full to where this thing turned off. The fan ran the whole time while it was charging. And then when it was finishing up the charge, the, the wattage dropped down very quickly. The most I ever saw coming on that watt meter was 190 watts while this was charging. And then the closer it got to full, it just started tapering that charge off. Once it got to the, uh, the fourth light flashing, finishing off the charge here, it started dropping down quickly. It went down to all the way down to 19 watts before the whole thing shut off and it was completely full. So very quick charge time. It did not touch this system at all. I was sitting at about 54% charge on the meter here and it's 53 now. So, and I wasn't getting great sun, but I was getting, oh, 100 watts in on the system while I was charging, which is kind of like the way I like to run things if I'm charging a system. Do it when i am uh, got some sunshine coming in too, so I'm not just pulling off of the main battery down there, which is a 200 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So I try to do it in conjunction anytime I'm charging up an extra battery or anything else to do it while I'm getting some sun too, so I can just keep charging the battery. So we've reviewed a lot of bigger lithium batteries out here. Uh, this is the smallest one I've got, and a lot of you might be saying, well, what can you do with six amp hours? Well, as it turns out, you can do a lot with one of these. And here it is, a Ryobi lawnmower, completely electric, quiet, no emissions, no changing oil. And it works just fantastically. So here's where the battery will slip into. Get one piece of grass in there. Just like that. Fits right into that compartment. 
there's room for a spare battery in case you didn't have uh, enough juice to do your project they say this battery here will last about an hour on with a full charge for mowing and how does it compete with gasoline well I used it a little bit yesterday evening and I can tell you it far surpasses uh, the gasoline engine that I was using but as a lot of you know I am really trying to get off the gasoline in every aspect of my life so this is the newest addition to a more sustainable much more efficient way of keeping the lawn looking good and it looks fabulous So like I said, I, I ran this last evening just to see how it was. Uh, I enjoyed it so much. This is a, a, a walk-behind self-propelled unit, which is really nice. So the little gas mower I was using before was not self-propelled, and it was a real beast to push it around. It was noisy. It was smelly. Didn't like anything about it. This however is uh, just a pleasure to operate so I'm going to just show you how quiet this thing is to begin with so to start it you just pull this lever back here uh, to initiate the starting and this button right here just push it that the motor stops so you pull this back push the start and then you can adjust your uh, self-propelled speed right here with a little toggle slider to your walking comfort uh, I kept it on the minimum because the grass was kind of tall and I wanted to go a little bit slower to make sure it cut everything it has a very quick uh, height adjustment for your deck right here. Super easy. Just take that out, drop it down, raise it up, raise it up as high as you want. Goes from about one and a half inches to four inches, I believe is what they said. I'm keeping it just at about, uh, on the, well, the third rung, <laughs> whatever that is. It's probably close to about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit longer, especially for this summertime. I let the grass go up a little bit higher. But anyway, super quiet. Very happy with that. And the self-propelled makes it just as easy as walking. Uh, I don't have to hold on to this very tight. Just keep up with whatever pace you want to go. And that six amp hour battery, surprisingly, I ran it for about 40 minutes last night and when I put it back on the charger this morning it was showing still about in that 25 to 50 percent charging or charge and it took about another 40 minutes to charge it up to put completely full. So I'll create just a little bit of noise and show you uh, what it looks like being self-propelled. So after you pull this back, press the start button. Then to engage the, uh, the drive, you just pull back on either handle. It, you see they both go. For this purposes, I'll just use one hand because I'm having to hold the camera and the other one. But anyway, very easy. Oh, and that's another thing. Without the motor running, if you just want to move this to your garage, instead of pushing it, you can self-propel it without the, the motor running. Just pull this back, and then there it goes. So you don't have to push it very hard. Just walk it to wherever you need. Really nice. So I'm going to start it up.
once you let go of the drive it just stops once you release this the engine stops this just releases the drive turn it back around so much quieter so much nicer that is yeah just mowed right through that really nice six amp hour battery driving a uh, what's the cut on that 20 inch 20 inch wide cut storage bag very nice Throw in my clippings over here, let them pack up and deteriorate and fertilize this palm tree. So size doesn't always matter. Six amp hour battery. Keeping the yard looking good. Very, very happy. Now I have to get out of the sun. So we'll walk this thing back. Forty volt. The power of a forty volt six amp hour battery. That's amazing. Changing life, getting off the gas. Goodbye to this old noisy thing. Yeah, that thing was not easy to push around. Yeah, really liking that. All right, everybody. Well, that answers the question that someone had a long time ago. Can you run your 40 volt tools and charge them off of your solar system quite easily as it turns out hope that gives you guys some ideas getting off the gas aloha beautiful day yard work done